actually. Yeah, Open the things for me, Grace. Good job, Joy. You can go help Heather. She said you're doing a good job, Joy. On that one Here's time. a little hay for you. Thank you. I just wanted it to be cleaner. Watch out. I'm going to put some hay under him. Okay. I really need the calf art. It's so hard to get the milk out of her. Joy, do you know how many people in the world have never milked a cow? And you are, what, eight? Are you nine now? Nine. Nine. And you already know how to do it. How's it going, Brie? Good, I need the calf though. She's holding back real hard. It's really hard to get the milk out. <coughs> Milking this morning with friends. We're going to get the calf out because the cow's holding back her milk. And sometimes putting the calf on will make her let it down. She may come through and trample your stuff. If maybe Grace and Heather can stand in front so she won't run past. I don't think she will. It's not like when they're babies where they, that's all they want to do. Is she on? No. She's thinking about it. You're putting her on the back seat? Yeah, the back seat's harder for me to milk, so it's better for her to nurse it out. No, I knew it'd be easy. She didn't want to. That's all you're going to let her do? Yeah, Should be enough? She... Have you ever milked before, Heather? Yeah, I've milked goats, right, you... but not a cow. Oh, cool. I love milking cows. I had Nigerian dwarfs in California. Oh, neat. And I milked. So much easier. <laughs> oh my god. Got it? So much more is coming out now. Yeah. Not just those little tiny skinny squirts. What's the difference between milking a goat and a cow, both of you? Or all three of you? I prefer milking goats. Their teeth are a lot softer, more supple. And it's just qu more, no, it's more quick. Yeah, I like goats more too. What do you think, Heather, having never milked a cow? I think it's really similar. Yeah. I think the dwarf so teeth are really milk. small, so they're harder to grab onto too. The action of your hands to me is the same. Yeah. But the amount of the I amount know. of strength you need is different. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. You know. She's starting to get over it though, so I'm trying to hurry up and get it done. I don't want you climbing or You want to give her a little hay, Joy Joy? So much mud. You got wood chips. Well, I don't want to keep the grass from growing in oh, the okay. summer. Grass. It's just so wet here in the winter. <laughs> the mud, the mud. If we were just north, it would maybe be like frozen all year, so you wouldn't have to deal with the mud but one part of the season, you know? But here, the ground is mostly not frozen. It freezes and it thaws, it freezes and it thaws, and it's just mud season. The problem is, like there are some trouble areas, but it's also normal, good grass areas. When you walk on them uh, 200 times this time of year, they get mucky. Imagine how bad it would be if we lived down here. There's no fix for that. Yeah, it would be bad. We'd have to do wood chip paths at least. I don't remember ever being this bad though when we lived up at the house. We're gonna try a second round with this guy here, putting him on, letting him nurse. It's a little bit risky even letting him out of the fence. He is such a wild man. It's, I mean, it's not, nothing bad is gonna happen, but he might run off. And it's not like we'd lose him. He just goes, would run laps all around the neighborhood. We haven't had a steer yet who, when he got out of the fence, didn't revel in his freedom by running. What? You, th you think she can't let down more? I don't think it's worth trying. Okay, so we're not going to do it. So I'd asked Arthur to put the calf on, but I didn't look at her udder. It's, it's empty. I mean, there's nothing in there. So she might let down a tiny bit more for her calf, but it's not going to be worth our trouble. What do you think the likelihood is the goat strength? I think it could happen. It happens on my um, Facebook cow groups all the time. That goats steal milk from cows? All sorts of animals steal milk. Cows will steal milk from other cows. We steal milk from the cows. We do. <laughs> we don't steal it. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm stealing. I take care of this cow. I love this cow. Is it a trade? Yeah, that's what she's created for.
Don't fall down in the mud. Oh my gosh, tell me about it. Let's skip school. I'm down, for, fun I'm down for anything. You gotta refilter the milk. No way. For the video. <laughs> that way. Because I didn't get to film it. As soon as you lose, babe. We got a gallon of milk. Yeah. How was it milking a cow for the first time? It was fun. Mama, I think you did really good. It was Mama, awesome. Mama, I love something it. I love writing um, Dara down at the jumper. Your red car? Oh, you did bring that. You're so cute. Like the like my red arm. We'll get it in a little bit. You're like a little monkey. Release the mama. I'm trying to put it down. I can't put it Release the mama. We gotta put non-muddy pants on you. Let's do it. Okay, we're going on a field trip. Science, PE, and... I think it's just PE. Oh. We're skipping school. It's almost 70 degrees and it's January. If work in our videos in this house has become monotonous for you <laughs> i get it it's something i was actually worried about as we were starting this project is like wait i'm quitting my nursing job i'm going to make videos about what about just just doing the house because work in a day it's kind of boring from an outside perspective it's like it's just a lot of hours of doing fairly monotonous things i've enjoyed literally every minute I've worked in this house. The only thing I say is just please bear with me. We will have some awesome gardening videos coming up. In fact, we've already started prepping our garden and you're gonna get to see this house transformed. It's already happening, but it's all like in the negative. I mean, it's the whole like removal and destruction, which is fun. Anyway, stick with me. I'll just give you little doses of it and uh, we'll keep plowing ahead and we'll have some different varied videos. Today, I'm gonna to continue digging out this kitchen. Well, it was a kitchen floor. It's not really much of a kitchen anymore. I'm gonna keep digging in here. We're gonna keep collecting rocks over here that will be used in piers and then later outside and just getting dirt out of this place. So we have a little crawl space underneath here. Oh, first I'll show you my little urinal. This is the old kitchen sink drain. And it's not a very big target. I'm not really that great of a marksman. I don't know about you guys who are watching but it does work. I think probably every job site renovation <laughs> uses a urinal like that. This is just a battle against these buried rocks. I'm trying to drop this down about 12 inches and all these rocks are in the way. Here's a huge one here. There's one I need to get out half buried down here and it just makes this take as much as three times as long as if it was just dirt. But that's okay because we're moving forward. Tuesday is never a very good day for me to get in here because I always have stuff in the afternoon to do but I got my workout in and that's right that's what counts all right I just got done with a weekly zoom meeting I do on Tuesdays right now probably will end up telling you what that's about later it's not really a meeting but anyway family's home they went out and took a walk at the park What's cooking good looking? Yeah. Easy pasta. Pasta? Are you making sauce there or what are you making? Yeah, I've got canned sauce. I'm making I'm just... pasta. I've got canned, like home canned sauce, but I'm adding some homegrown onions. I'm going to add some olives to the sauce. Sounds I think it'll be good. really good. Where did those tomatoes come from, Howder? It dumped. From the wall. The wall. That's where we keep everything. From the garden. From the wall. You're right. You probably need to move back because it heats up, my man. I don't think so. I I do think so. When he says the tomatoes come from the wall, I'll show you what he's talking about. He's talking about this little spot right here by the wall. <laughs> really kind of smart, if you ask me. So I just went and saw. I know right where you're talking about. You don't <laughs> have to show me in just a minute. All right, we're gonna add this. Hopefully, it goes well. I think it'll be good. It's olives. All right, time to do chores, but we're gonna film this 
a little differently. Me. Sir, you need to get control of your geese. Somehow I don't think that turned out exactly how I meant it to. Jimmy. Sure, what do you want to show me? 